what it is guys my name is swifters and today i have real a pretty awesome a black ops 3 zombies a storyline easter egg on the map shadows of evil and in today's video i'm going to be showcasing to you guys what appears to be a diary entry from dr rick Toffin. now this easter egg is extremely similar to the one found on the giant the dr monty a blueprint easter egg and as you guys recall with that easter egg there were a ton of scattered pieces of this blueprint located throughout the entire map and if you guys were to find all of these pieces and put them together in a photo editing program, they would combine to create one image that would give us a ton of information about the overall zombie storyline, and that is exactly what this easter egg is, but if you guys like to go about checking out the Dr. Monty easter egg, I'll have it linked down in the description below, but that is besides the point. As I said, we're going to be taking a look at this secret image that was found on Shadows of Evil. Now before I get any further in today's video, huge credit goes to none other than Milo, also known as Mr. Raffle Waffles, and Liam for the win as they are actually the first people to have discovered this and pieced together these images. So huge credit goes to them, link down in the description below. But with all of that out of the way, let's get started with today's video. Alright guys, so as you go about the map, finding these scrap pieces of paper, you guys can form this diary entry and as you guys can see, located in all four corners, we appear to have different dimensions and in it, they say Sun, Venus, Mercury, and each corner represents a different dimension with different coordinates. So as I said, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that all of these Suns, Venus, Mercury, and coordinates represent different parallel universes or dimensions occurring in the zombie storyline. So as I said, all of these coordinates are different and they all lead to different places. So we're first going to be taking a look at the bottom left hand corner and if you guys were to put all of these coordinates into a generator you guys will see that it actually comes out to be a place called Roklau Poland and this is essentially deemed Lower Silesia and for those of you who follow the zombie storyline you guys know that Lower Silesia is where the map Doris, also known as the giant in Black Ops 3 takes place despite when you load up into the game it's saying near Breslau Germany it actually takes place in Lower Silesia and that is essentially Roklau. Cloud Poland. So continuing onward to the top left hand corner, these coordinates take you to a place called Warfin Austria and I'm not too sure how this place pertains to the zombie storyline, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Continuing onward to the top right hand corner, these coordinates take you to a place called Volgograd, Russia. This place is better known as Stalingrad, Russia, so it's possible that this has some correlation to Nikolai Belinsky. Again, not too sure. Maybe we'll find out in a future DLC. And in the bottom right hand corner, these coordinates take you to a really weird place called Micronesia. Now, this place is located just northeast of Australia, very close to New Zealand as well. And again, I have absolutely no idea how this pertains to the storyline in any way, but again, hope we will find out very soon. So going back to the overall image, there are a ton of really interesting things. So we're first going to be taking a look at this in the top left hand corner and as you guys can see on the left hand side, there is element 115 and to the right it says, 115 is the fabric, the thread holding us all together, the welting universe, the war is in the infinity, this has happened before. A universe has been born, the others must be undone. How many years have we been searching in the wrong locations following the wrong leads? We are different but the same. I must commence the others. There is another way. We all must die. So, so far there's already some pretty crazy information. Again, in the top left hand corner we're discussing element 115, how it's the fabric of the universe, but the universe appears to be welting, and that this war, this great war is happening in the infinity, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that the infinity is sort of this afterlife. It's, uh, it's paradise, it's, uh, it's the aether where Maxis and uh, essentially Samantha are being held, and in the bottom left hand corner it says that we've been searching for so many years in all of the wrong locations and following the wrong leads and then in the middle it says that a universe has been born and the others must be undone so maybe some of these universes are evil they're bad but one pure good and untouched universe has survived it's essentially this sacred utopia and I guess everyone needs to live in that parallel universe of that utopia and it's super crazy alongside that we're also having some information on the right hand side saying that there are other ways 
that we need to commence the other universes and essentially a chain reaction will happen and that sacred utopia will survive. It will surface because everyone must die in order for that to happen. Now all of that is some pretty heavy information for those of you who follow the storyline, but there is still one untouched area of this paper that we have yet to divulge in, and in all honesty, this part is by far the most interesting and the most complex. So, as you guys can see, here it is, and it says, the children will be safe in the house. Now the image of the house that you guys are seeing on screen right now on top of this floating rock is extremely interesting and there is a ton of backstory to it. Now I'm not going to divulge into all of that information in today's video. I'm just going to tease you guys with a little bit of information and then I'm going to make a future video discussing the true significance of this house. But all I can say is that we have seen this house in the past and it definitely plays a very vital role in the overall storyline. But guys, some of you may know exactly what I'm talking talking about some of you may not but as I said I will be sure to get a video out either tomorrow or the day after explaining the significance of this house and how it pertains to the overall Call of Duty Zombies storyline so for those of you who would like that video please be sure to let me know down in the comments section below I'd love to see how excited you guys are for it so again let me know also make sure that you guys leave a like and subscribe so you never miss a future a Black Ops 3 Zombies video uploaded here on my channel I will be sure to catch you guys in the next video and until next time, guys, this has been Swifters. I'm out. Peace.